and beyond. I'm Katie from St. Anthony School and I'm your host. Welcome to Learn Green Grow, a show about how to green your school. Hello, I'm Katie and welcome to Learn Green Grow. Today we are going to learn about, learn about beach cleanups, specifically microplastics. I'm here with Ms. Garrison who I'm going to interview. She uh, organized a microplastic beach cleanup. Hello. Where does the microplastic come from? Um, the microplastics mainly come from um, all over the world and so what's happening is there are these big gyres of, um, of trash in the middle of the Pacific Ocean and it swirls around and the way the currents go in, in, in the Pacific Ocean is it eventually ends up on the windward shores of Oahu and other islands of Hawaii and the sun and the ocean currents break down the plastic so it's a lot of debris from um, manufacturers and debris from just humans in general. Tell me about your event. Um, well, the event that we hosted was called the Microplastic Challenge, and I got the idea from the Kakua Hawaii Foundation. They did one one Saturday, and it was for the general public. And what we did is we just collected all the microplastic pieces on the beach. And it is very time consuming because you have to sift through the sand and um, you feel like you're doing a lot, but then you only have you know, just a jar full of microplastic. So I thought that we would take the whole school um, across the street to the beach. Since our school is right near the beach, that seemed to be a logical place to go. And we brought everybody from the, the early learning center, the three and four year olds, all the way up to the eighth graders. And we got into teams and um, on the beach we had uh, designated areas for each of the teams and the teams consisted of about 20 students and we spent one hour sifting through the sand um, for microplastic. We also had a lot of um, volunteers from the community help us. We had Kailua Silvors and Kayaks, Ocean Devotion, we had Sustainable Coastlines, the Kakua Hawaii Foundation, and Whole Foods Market. And they all came and um, donated their time to help the students understand what they were doing and why, why they were doing that. Um, after we collected all the microplastic, we brought it back to the school and we weighed, um, we weighed uh, what each team had brought in and we gave each team prizes that the community members had donated. How do you think this will have an impact on the students? Um, already I think it has impacted the students greatly because they're still talking about it. They were really excited about helping and I've had a lot of students tell me that when they go to the beach now that they're actually looking for microplastic and picking it up. So instead of just ignoring it, they're going, they're going ahead and doing something about it. Um, many students also mentioned that they had never really noticed the microplastic um, before our event and now they really, really notice it. What can we do to prevent microplastic on our beaches? Um, really there's nothing you can do to prevent microplastic on the beaches themselves because the big garbage patches are already there so they're going to continue to come to our shores. But what we can do is educate the community about one use plastic and how it is affecting our, our environment. So instead of getting that water bottle every day at lunch you could have your own stainless steel um, water bottle and fill it up at a water fountain. Also, when you go out to lunch during your lunch hour, instead of um, getting a plastic fork and a plastic knife, you could possibly bring your own utensils or your own chopsticks. And also the same thing with plates and dishes. So that is also, that's definitely an option. Of course, the plastic bag, a lot of communities have banned plastic bags at grocery stores and they encourage everyone to bring their own plastic, uh, their own um, cloth reusable bag. So there is a start uh, of a movement that people are being more concerned about it and they understand the, that the impact of one use plastic and how we can just educate our children and our students and even our family of, of how it's impacting our earth. Well, thank you, Mrs. Garrison, for sharing that nice information with us. This has been Learn, Learn Green Grow. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. So what microplastic and plastic and other trash that we throw into the ocean can do uh, to the environment 
is turtles, fish, they can they can eat that microplastic and it's really just not healthy for the environment or, or the animals um, themselves. My name is Anissa Gunther and I work over at Kailua Southwest Kayaks. We are helping St. Anthony's School with a, a huge microplastic challenge. So all the kids are out here uh, foaming the beach for little pieces of microplastic like this. plastic after we collect it? Well, there's all kinds of things. Uh, some of it could go to our shop where we have some di uh, displays that exhibit microplastic and why it's bad for our beaches. And I know there's some other groups that may use it for jewelry making or art purposes. You can make some really cool collages with this stuff. Um, or you can uh, donate it to some other companies that will turn it into uh, recycled plastic. Sailboards and kayaks made these sifters. So you know those noodles that you bring into the pool that are made of star foam? They wrapped it around, that way we wouldn't hurt our hands. And right here is where we would put like the a sand. Net. It's sort of like a net, so easier. And you would put the sand on here and then you would shake it up a little bit and all the plastic would come here and the sand would fall down, so it kind of helped. And then by all the plastic we collected, I was actually amazed how much was collected because those big plastic bags, you know, not the sound bags, but the huge ones, ours was half full. And that was just in two, three hours. And I was just amazed at how dirty the beach was. Tell me again what this is. This is the this oyster, is oyster spacers. So when they farm oysters, they put them down a long rope. And so that they don't touch, they put these in between each one of them. Okay, so kids, did you hear that? How that's just so awful that they just like leave them in the ocean. So here's what we're trying to get you guys to do is problem solve this away. And what's a, what's a better way we could space their nets and, and get oysters? There's got to be a better way. Maybe bamboo. Maybe bamboo. Something biodegradable. Nothing plastic because it's hurting our ocean and hurting us. So. That's why I'm showing you guys this now, early on, why you guys are going through school, because you guys could, you know, become the next billionaire, inventing something that can change the world yeah. just by, you know, changing somebody from plastic to bamboo. And I think that's that's why we're doing this, is to get you guys to, to think a little differently when we do our manufacturing. Oh, the, yeah. Or is that called mermaid's tears as well? Yeah, okay. mermaid's tears and myrtles. Like, this is the base product of plastic, so this is where it starts. So this is the start, and this is the finish. And this just shows that, you know, we're not doing a good enough job protecting the base product as it reaches the manufacturers. So the plastic industry needs to make sure this stuff doesn't fall into the This is fun. Were you surprised of all the plastic you're finding? Yeah. yeah, we were really surprised about how many microplastics there are in the sand. Have you ever noticed it before when you come to the beach? Well, yeah, I've noticed it on the ground, but I didn't actually know it was microplastic. Yeah, I thought it was always like from maybe like surfboards or kind of foam and stuff, but I didn't know that it was actual like big pieces of plastic and the sun breaks it down. Being safe and caring leaders, we had to help keep our families together and on task. Three outcomes we came up with as safe and caring teams are Outcome 1. Raise community awareness about plastic debris in the ocean and the problem with one-use plastic. Outcome 2. Provide cleaner beaches and help divert the plastics from re-entering the ocean. Outcome three, motivate students and the community to volunteer and participate in something he or she is passionate about. Next time I go surfing, I'll bring a sifter.